Alright, here's the deal. I started a new playthrough of Pokemon Unbound at the start of the year. I got as far as episode 2 when I caught the big bad sea virus. Then, by the time I recovered, I uploaded episode 3 and I realized that the insane difficulty was going to require a lot more of my time than I expected. I've been too stubborn to lower the difficulty because I was convinced that people only wanted to watch the series if it was on the hardest difficulty. But after your feedback and assuring me that you just want to watch me play the game in some capacity, I decided to stop being stubborn and lower the difficulty. We'll be playing on Expert, just like last time. This game has changed a lot since our first playthrough and I hope you continue to enjoy despite the huge gap in uploads and the change in difficulty. If you could do me a favor and show me you're still interested in the series by leaving a like, it would mean a lot. Thank you. Alright everyone, hi, how's it going? Welcome back, finally, to Pokemon Unbound. I know it's been a long wait, I apologize. I hope you are still looking forward to this series. If you are, please, like I said in the intro, leave a like. It is the best way to show me that you're, you're still interested. You know, I need to know that people still want me to play this game. I mean, I'd understand if they didn't know because I have been, uh, I have been kind of like taking my sweet ass time with it. Anyways, I turned on easy puzzles just because like, I don't know, the, the puzzles generally get caught out anyway. This is another reason we're really playing this game. We're playing this game because it's, it's hard Pokemon. So I think that, I think that is uh, the change they made to the puzzle in easy mode. They just made it like wider. So the puzzle still exists and the puzzle is probably still not like, you know, piss easy, but yeah, they've definitely made it a little bit easier. Anyways, yeah, I mean, last time, I mean, all I all I had to do next was fucking take on the gym leader. Uh, we, we struggled so much against the just James like this is definitely something like this is definitely a game that I can uh I, I can definitely beat it on insane difficulty but it would just require so much time so I would, I would you know we're we're just gonna turn the difficulty down to extreme is it extreme I think I expert it's called expert I keep falling extreme I actually don't know if this team is a, a good team to take on the gym but I guess we'll just give it a fucking shot you know why not man anyways here's Vega leads off with his life bar level 26 this is going to be, we're going to be playing this differently than what we standardly do because in the past we were like over leveled, whereas now we're just, we're going to be on par with the gym leaders and we're going to be the levels that we're, we're meant to be, which may, may make it harder than last time because, you know, Lota had actually suggested that if I wanted to play this game um, on the hardest difficulty that I should just level up my Pokemon to like level 50, 60 right away and um, just, just kind of like, you know, use these like, like use Tyranitar against this gym, it would be way better than a Larvitar, for example. <laughs> but I don't really want to do that. I want to I want to play the game the way God intended. So we're just, we're going to play on Expert and we're going to, uh, we're going to play at the level cap, which is something that they didn't have when I first started playing on Bone. So Cole's kind of going on a tear right now. It feels like the difficulty between Expert and Insane is like night and day, like I, punishment with a dark gem. I've got really high defense. I should live that. Yep. And we snapped out of confusion and we pop off and incinerate in the drought. That probably won't kill though. Yeah, I figured. The sunlight has faded and Cole died because of the, yeah, for some reason there's just fucking dark energy in this gym, I guess. I don't fucking know. I remember having, I, I, I thought, <laughs> oh my God, it doesn't even have any fighting moves. Are you kidding me? I thought for sure getting myself a, um, a fucking beware was the move for taking on James. Uh, but unfortunately, they made it so you can't use rare candies with a level cap. Like, that, that is something that they definitely changed. I'm pretty sure you used to be able to do that. Dude, this Absol did not take any fucking damage. Jeez Louise. Okay, um... You have Edelgard, though. Edelgard has Intimidate. Um, I don't... I mean, I imagine... Uh, could you Psycho Cut, maybe? I, mean, I don't know if Arbok was a, the greatest switch, but we don't really seem to be struggling right now. Oh, okay, it's just gonna knock off, and it doesn't Mega Evolve. Very good. Okay. Um... I mean, I'll, I think I'll just Glare. Oh, we're already faster than it some somehow. I don't I don't really understand that. Oh wait, unless it's using like a negative priority move. I don't know. Anyway, we'll just poison bang, I suppose. Yup, there's the cycle cut. I knew you had it. Uh, I'm gonna screech just for the next. Oh, there's Fane. Okay, that's a priority move. Smart AI, smart AI. Oh yeah, we have fighting types. We're chilling. Um, yeah, I'll just use Taka. Slap him with some arm thrusts. That should hopefully kill. Why is this Absol so bulky? What the fuck? I'm so thankful that the fucking the par paralysis is coming through, Jesus Christ. Just kill. Thank you. We have Lipard here, that's fine, we'll just keep arm thrusting. We should be straight, we've got two fighting types. Oh, there's Play Rough, okay. Ah, uh, that's neutral, so it shouldn't kill. Yeah, okay. Give me five, give me five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. And lastly, we've got Weavile versus Hariyama. Yeah, we absolutely got this. His fake out was faster than mine, but that's okay. I have Force Palm, bye bye. And wow, that was ridiculously easy. I mean, to be fair, I don't think I 
tried on insane difficulty with this team, but I don't really think I want to. I, I feel a lot better now having demolished him in extreme difficulty. Expert. I keep calling it extreme. Interesting. I believe you'd be a fine agent. All right. Remarkable, both in using the intel on your foe, that being myself, and for your staying steadfast, even under pressure. For your outstanding spirit, the vision badge is yours. And we got a pair of fucking goggles, baby. The vision badge will allow po uh, outsider Pokemon at level 4 HR you receive in a trade to obey you without question. HM Cut may now also be used outside of battle to remove a small tree blocking your path. And as a token of goodwill, I believe this TM will be useful to you. Thief. That's actually a really good move. One last word of advice, avoid the shadows and stay in the light wherever possible. Do this and you will avoid falling into ruin. This I promise you. Sussy. Alright, get me out of here. Okay. The asset has sent word. The target is on the move. Alright then, let's move into position. Okay, they finally moved out of the way. Cool. Use the KBT Expressway to go south of the crater town. I'm so glad my memory's dog shit and like replaying through this game is kind of just like replaying through it for the first time again because I, I really don't remember anything oh my god i caught a lot of fucking pokemon holy shit I, I i forgot i did all that jesus i think i recorded for like two two and a half hours last episode just to just to come away with not being the gym leader like it was it was such a bad feeling anyways i kind of want to keep uh stuff all on my team big knight is cool uh who do i not really want to use i'm not sure either way something that's pretty cool uh pokemon unbound actually dropped uh, their own like little website where um, like a Pokedex website. It's unbound.ashincone.com. I think that unbound.ashincone.com. I can leave a link in the description. You just type the Pokemon's name in like, and there's items and moves and abilities too. Wow. Okay. So if I just type in Hariyama here, here's the website. It tells you his egg moves. It tells you his level up moves, HP, his stats and everything. And this is really useful for Pokemon that have changed. I can't really think of any Pokemon that have changed off the top of my head, but I think this is a pretty good resource for people playing Pokemon Unbound. They also released like uh, the the music for Unbound on Band Bandicamp. Bandcamp, I think that's the name of the website. I bought it either way. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get it for free, but I, I gave them twenty dollars. I, I slid twenty dollars their way. Like, yeah, here you go. Keep up the good work. Anywho, I kind of want to use an Arbok. Kind of kind of fucks with Arbok. Uh, I'm not really feeling Ariyama right now. I'll, I'll bring I'll bring Larvitar back to the squad for a bit. I think this is okay for now, I suppose. Next step is just... Oh, okay. Quick, grab her now. Okay. I forgot we actually get fucking kidnapped. Okay. Ah, right on schedule. Tell me, girl, what is your name? Cal, was it? At last we finally meet. I am Zeph, the man lurking in the shadows behind this organization. I shall get to the point. I've been informed that not only have you trespassed in our laboratory, but you've tried to interfere with two of our operations as well. That, make no mistake, is unacceptable. However, it does beg the question of who exactly you're working for. You work for no one? N nonsense. Surely you can craft a more plausible lie than that. You're not even trying. Very well, if you will not talk, then Ivory here will have to give you a little incentive. Oh? So, you're the trainer Marlon seems to have a score to sell with. Try not to struggle too much, it'll only hurt all the more. Oh, okay. Ivory, hello. Got the Misdreavus on the go, okay. I didn't even get a chance to level up my Mons more or anything, they just fucking threw me right into it, okay. Sorry, we got a drought, we got a drought Torkoal though, so we're, we're out here. Let me have a look at Torkoal's stats and stuff, I don't know if he's changed or anything. He doesn't, he doesn't appear to have changed. Drought Torkoal isn't really a bad Mon though. And this thing did just mean look me, so it's not like I can, it's not like I can switch out or anything anyway. Just for my own like, nosiness, I kinda wish they had like, comparisons. But yeah, by the looks of it, Torkoal's stats haven't changed at all. Maybe they just level up moves or something. I don't know. Hit him with the hit him with the hit him with the hurt yourself in confusion. Great job, bro. Oh, dude, fucking stop! <laughs> I'm so glad this is not a Nuzlocke. Jesus Christ! All right, Arbok, just kill. Wow, dude, Arbok, how much do you suck, man? Like, kill. Thank you. Just a fucking Misdreavus. How are you struggling to kill it? Uh, Alolan Persian. Looking a little, looking a little rough, rough there, buddy. I'm not gonna lie. Looking a little, looking a little rough there. <laughs> and of course, you hypnosis me. Um, I would like to wake up and poison fang you, please. Yes, perfect. Poison it? No. Okay, cool. That I'm literally swaggered, and that did nothing. I forgot this thing has fucking fur coat. I'm mainly physical attackers too, so there's not really much I can do. Yeah, I'm like all physical except Hillary here. Uh, I'm not really sure. Hillary's the best. Mon to send in. Alright, I'll just try Taka. We'll, we'll just arm thrust it a bit. I hate that this thing gets fucking hypnosis too. Arm thrust really does dick for damage. Especially when it only hits twice. Can you hit five times please? 
All you have to do is ask. All you have to do is ask. Haha, <laughs> she gave up trying to put me to sleep and just aerial aced me. If you just aerial aced me twice, I would have been dead by now, but instead you try to fucking hypnosis me twice. Like, what a fucking loser. And Kadabra's your last mon. Okay, that should be fine. We have a biting Larvitar. You have a reflecting Kadabra. Okay, maybe I'll rock tomb to lower your speed. Why do you have knockoff on a Kadabra? Like, literally just fucking use Psybeam and I'm probably dead. I'm just a Larvitar, bro. Please don't hurt yourself. Thank you. And you miss. I should have just used Bulldoze. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, well, I dropped its speed, so I, I hope that that helped. Air Slash. Hillary does have some pretty fucking gnarly spadef, though, so we should be okay. Let's go, Hillary! Let's go! Not bad, I suppose. Oh, Ivory. How are we supposed to scare her straight if you cannot even defeat her in a simple battle? Zeph, I'm a scientist. My best skills lie elsewhere. <sighs> Very well. In the absence of anyone else, Houndoom and I will personally show you the meaning of pain. Oh? Zeph, I'm not sure Houndoom alone will be enough to beat her. You doubt me, Ivory? Houndoom and I are more than capable of finishing her off. Now then, Cal, I've been quite patient with you, but I'm afraid you forced my hand. Time to suffer for your interference. Do I get to heal? Oh no, okay, it's one of those battles, okay. Well, um, I think I die. I, 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 I think I die, I didn't... Fuck, I wasn't prepared for this. And it's a Mega Houndoom too. Oh, good boy. And he's using Howl. We do have pretty good defense, because a fur coat, strength is... Oh, there's a fire fan. It's gonna just bust through me, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe Hillary will be faster and... Nah, nah. Alright. Uh, I just gotta... Okay, I just gotta be more prepared. I forget that I gotta fucking prepare battle for better for these battles. Alright, so if I just crunch this a couple times, of course you fucking burn me. This Misdreavus is fucking annoying, Jesus Christ. Okay, I probably only need Edelgard alive. How do I have to kill Misdreavus? I mean, I guess... Hillary? Yeah, fucking Misdreavus is only attacking move as heck, so... Sending a normal type in is a good idea. This is why normal types are goaded, man. Uh, okay. Alright, we have this Persian here. It likes to Hypnosis. But it can't Hypnosis. Hillary? Uh, maybe I'll... Oh, wait, Psycho Shift. Nope, okay. I did kind of get lucky last time I fought Persian, but... Okay, I got unlucky this time. Dude, this Persian is fucking annoying. I got rid of Hariyama. Too early. I'm sorry, my friend. Come back, please. Actually, hold on. Do I still have that? Yeah, I do. Let's get ourselves a Beware. Let's go! Let's go! Let's try and learn Bind. Are you fucking serious? Can you learn, like, a fighting move, please? Do I have any fighting TMs? I simply don't. I just simply don't have any fighting TMs, holy shit. I wanna box Torkoal for now. Don't really need it. All right, we absolutely got this. Ooh, you're sending Kadabra instead of Virgin? Thank you. Uh, I don't really have a good switch. Everything, Kadabra kills everything on my team. So I guess I'm just gonna keep air slashing. Thankfully, fucking Hillary has a massive spidef stat. Hillary coming in clutch. I was thinking about boxing her too. I'll reflect here. Nope, no I won't. Uh, okay. I guess we'll try Hariyama. We'll just use Force Palm here. I have to wake up first. Dude, this set is so fucking annoying. Don't hurt yourself. And we Force Palm. Cool. Doesn't quite kill, but that's fine. We weakened it quite a bit. And then Arm Thrust should hopefully finish. Nope, and a fucking... Dude, this thing... Okay. I'm just not thinking. I, I just need to give them fucking Chesto Berries, dude. I This is really what it's come down to. Alright. I'm gonna Force Palm. I just got hypnosis twice anyway. It's so fucking annoying, dude. Okay, we got lucky. We uh we got swaggered and then we woke up and just forced Pamela's ass. Awesome. And then we just gotta deal with this fucker. Let me live. Let me just break through and knock off, please. Nope, never lucky. Never lucky. Sorry, Larvitar's got me. I lied. He doesn't have me. I should have just sent in Hillary anyway. And Mistrevis. Oh yeah, I forgot I didn't kill this. Bye bye. Alright, at least we got three Pokemon to deal with Houndoom now. Um I'm gonna go to Edelgard and drop its attack. I think we should just glare it. And maybe just screech. Now it's like negative six. Arm thrust. Oof. Oof. That is... Oof. I didn't quite kill though. Fuck. Sucker punch kills. That's fine. Let's go, Wario. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Massive defense. I cannot believe it. Get fucked, Zef. I'm going to hand it to you. You're stronger than I anticipated. I do like that about you, girl. The strength is something I wish for my son, too. Zef, Marlon just sent the word. He finished with his investigation in the green hat boy. You'll want to hear this. Yes, what is it? I see. I'm afraid, Kyle, that you've now lost your leverage. I'm told there was a boy with you when you happened upon our last operation. We have successfully identified him as the grandson of a well-known historian named Arthur. Was he involved in your appearance there? Your reaction speaks volumes. It was indeed his doing. That old fool. How long must he interfere with us? Oh. Sir, a monster just appeared out of thin air in the basement chamber. All grunts, get down there. Now. Stop whatever that monster is and protect the Shadow Warriors. Ivory will heal our Pokemon and join the 
containment efforts. We cannot afford to lose even a single Shadow Warrior right now. If any are destroyed and Faye finds out, I understand Zeph. But what should we do about the girl? Let her go for now. As long as their public appearances remain scarce, there is no reason for Faye and Arthur to ever speak with one another. There is little chance he would ever tell her. Cal, I suspect you'll have no intention of obeying, but I will only warn you once. Keep out of our business, or you may find things will escalate beyond your control. So for your sake, I hope we don't meet again, girl. Dude, that is so threatening. Holy shit. Hello, Hoopa. And Hoopa's gonna fucking just... <laughs> what the f- Okay. Thanks, Hoopa. Woo wee If that ain't the darndest thing I ever did see, a girl coming out of some magic portal. Where'd you come from, girl? What's that? You were trying to get to Thunderclap Mountain and all of a sudden you were kidnapped? Woo wee That sure sounds scary, girl. Well, if you hadn't been kidnapped, you'd be having lots of trouble getting to Thundercat Mountain. You see, part of the ceiling collapsed not long ago and blocked off the road. And unless you have the HM for Rock Smash, you'll be in a bit of a pickle getting through them. But I'm guessing you don't, or you wouldn't still be talking to me. In that a case, a friend of mine in Blizzard City can help you out by giving you the Rock Smash. So, take this HM to help yourself to get to him. Epic. I was, I was just wondering when I was going to get cut. What's that? You don't know what HM is? Who? <laughs> I, I, I do. I played Pokemon before. Stop it. Thank you. I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. Well, I need a Pokemon on a team that can use cut. None of them can use cut. That's that's just fucking convenient. Inconvenient even. I don't even I don't even know what Pokemon can learn. Like, would, would you be able to? You'd be able to learn cut, right? You're a grass type. You're one with the trees. Never mind. Apparently it can't. What the fuck? Convey can't even learn? What? I, dude, what Pokemon can cut down trees? Are you telling me a bear couldn't cut down a fucking tree? Are you telling me this motherfucker couldn't cut down a tree? Make it make sense. Dude, I don't want to take one of these scrubs with me. What the fuck, dude? This is like the only thing I have. I mean, I, I know Bibarel and fucking Watchhog can learn it. Okay. I'll just take Watchhog with me. Bullshit, man. Don't want to fucking take a Watchhog with me. I'm not a scrub, I promise. Ooh, I've been hearing Gligar cries in here. I would actually really like to use a Gligar. I've not used a glide score in like a playthrough in so long. You know what? This guy probably wants to yeah, just, just fucking battle me, dude. You know what the best part of playing on expert mode instead of uh insane is the um no oh, speaking of the devil. The best part in my opinion is uh is is the fact that I can now use chances that are inside of caves. Oh my god, I can actually use chancy. Imagine. Dude, hell are you slaughtering these bitches? Give me glide or give me death. Uh, I should actually catch this right now because I'm. Uh, I think knowing that's pretty rare. Mine. Oh my god. I I really want to use an Oracorio. Actually, I've never used them before. They actually seem kind of fucking cool. I straight up cannot find a Gligar, dude. What the fuck? Where's my little boy? I wanna see my little boy. I wanna see my little boy. I've got a game theory for you guys. Noctowl and Pig Knight are related. They both tried to learn takedown at level 28. Thoughts? Hey, there's my boy. I knew I heard you in here. I also looked up the documentation to be safe. All right, boys. I know times have been tough ever since those Ferrothorns kicked us out of Antisys, but soon we're gonna head on over to Route 10 and start fresh. We're gonna make a new base, and any trainers wanted to pass through are gonna have to pay a pretty toll. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're gonna rough them up and steal their cash. They're all gonna cry for their mommies. What do you want, bozo? Can't you see we're discussing important things here? Scrap. Okay. Definitely want to use a Glycar on my team. Hey, I forgot about these signs. Trainer tips. Pressing start while viewing items lets you sort them. I love that feature. Such a good feature. I'm just remembering what all the random bullshit missions this game has, and I'm just like, oh, I can't be bothered, man. <laughs> I'm so glad there's guides for this this game. Help me out with all the bullshit. Bug catcher. Dude, every mon just dies to fucking knock towel in this route, apparently. Oh yeah, there's bunnelbees in this route. I remember using um, fucking diggersby in my playthrough. Oh, just received new directions from Zeph. We'll be tightening security on Route 9. The green-hatted boy who tried to interfere with the operation in Cinder Volcano has been spotted flying overhead. While you three stand guard at the gate, I'm gonna go find a suitable place to set up a psychic barrier around the route. Yes, ma'am. Hmm, in order to set up a strong barrier, I should head to the peak of Frost Mountain. Oh, I guess that's where I've got to go next then, huh? Hey guys, a little double battle going on. Young Goose and Esper. Dude, I forgot Young Goose was even a mon until I started playing Pokemon Go. And I saw Young Goose in Pokemon Go. And I'm just like, dude, is this real life? Are we really in the time where fucking Gen 7 is now in Pokemon Go? Like, Gen 7 came out six years ago. It's crazy to me that it's in Pokemon Go now. 
It came out the same year that Pokemon Go came out, actually. That's nuts. Yo. Dude, the fucking random NPC trainers suck so much ass. Hey, tanks loading rock slide though, bless. Finally a good fucking move. The day my beware learns a fighting type move is the day I, it truly is over for all these bitches. I just called the NPCs ass and then they decided to fucking bring in Diggersby in the fucking picture. Like, alright, sorry, sorry I called you ass. And this is the route to uh, the Frost Volcano, or the fr Frost Volcano, Frost Mountain, yeah. Cool. Thanks for the rod, bro. Don't you guys heal me though? Ah, you do, thank you. And I can access my PC, perfect. A well, Larvitar is going to be a fucking Pupitar soon. Pig Knight is on his way to being an Embor. You know, I'm actually quite content with this team, despite the Watchhog. Watchhog's just for cut. Which I actually don't think I need anymore. <gasps> oh yeah, Gligar. Gligar can probably learn cut, huh? Yeah, let's... Yeah, I was gonna bring Torkoal, but no, I've got fucking Gligar, bro. Please tell me my Gligar has a good nature. Quirky, you know what? I'll take it, that's fine. We can modify it later. You! Hold it right there! You're one of the Shadow Goons, aren't you? I'd recognize the symbol on your chest anywhere. You're gonna tell me what I want to know, or I'm gonna do to you what I did to those dumb goons back at your hideout. Is there really any way to talk to someone, Whoop? Move aside, you should learn threats are only effective if you can follow through on them. What? You can't just pretend like you know me and treat me like I'm some kid. My Pokemon will beat you to a pulp. <sighs> so much for that. I'm sorry about this, Whoop. Is he just gonna- oh yeah, he just fucking like yeets him out of the way. Holy shit, he's popped. They've got like custom music for all these areas now, it's fucking awesome. Oh yeah, I've got a motorcycle, I completely forgot. Let me let me register that. Oh, we'll check on Wooper though, hey. My whole body aches. Hmm, Kyle, is that you? What brings you all the way out here? Wait, don't tell me. You came here looking for even more Pokemon? Well, that's what I've been doing anyway. As far as progress goes, I've registered over 100 species now. See, the old Coot Log's sister, she lives in Blizzard, Blizzard City, and when she saw how my Pokedex was coming along, she upgraded it with the Dex now function, so fighting rare Pokemon has been a cinch. I see. You need the HM Rock Smash up in Blizzard City, and you decided you have a bone to pick with the Shadows too, huh? Well, while you're running around playing Hero, I got a whole lot stronger. You don't stand a chance against me anymore, Cal. In fact, I'll prove it right here, right now. Okay. Let's beat his ass, his fucking overconfident ass. Two cannon! Oh yeah, he's got two cannon. Oh my word, okay. Um, wrong lead. Let's, uh, switch into Edelgard. Drop that offensive presence. Pluck me all you need. I'm gonna glare you. I know you're already slow as fuck as it is, but... We're going to tank now. Then we'll just rock tomb. I, I probably should have used rock slide. No, that's my bad. Alright, two cannons out of the way. We have Metang. Oh yeah, he's... Uh, I forgot <laughs> he has a... His star Pokemon, yeah, okay. Uh, Psychic move definitely coming my way. Nope, you use Magnet Rise, that's smart. I'm gonna Reflect. And he's got a Swine Up. Yo, I really like his team. His team is fucking cool. I'm going to Arm Thrust this idiot. Ah, you're learning fucking Bulldoze, my man. Let's go. And then we're just gonna Flame Charge this Metang. I literally missed two fucking Flame Charges in a row because of that Mud Bomb. Are you kidding me? Alright, Tank's got this. We live the Bullet Punch. Bite. Dead. Let's go! And just like in the anime, my fucking Pokemon evolves after an epic battle. Let's go! Pupitar fucking sucks though, he's such an ugly mon. Heh, <laughs> looks like I still can't stand up to you yet. That's fine, it just means there's still a level of strength I can reach. But I'll get there. I'm gonna be strong. Stronger than anyone. Just wait till next time we meet Cal, because you're going down for sure then. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got important stuff to do. And I think that should hopefully be enough to cover an episode. I don't know, it's been a while since I've recorded Unbound, so I don't really know what, uh, and, uh, you know, enough content for an episode would constitute, but I think it's been fine. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and let me know um, that you're excited for the return of Unbound, I suppose. I appreciate you guys uh, pestering me for it. I don't know if that, that's not the right way to put it. I appreciate you guys' enthusiasm about the game. I'm glad you guys still really want to see me play it despite the two month gap <laughs> in uploads. I'll be uh, uploading this consistently as long as you guys show me that you want to see more. So let me know you want to see more and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.